Hey there, everybody. Just got home. My mom love had two doctor's appointments today. <laughs> it's a great way to spend your month Monday. But hey, every time I get to take her somewhere, it's fun. So, oh my goodness, you never know what's going to come out of that mouth. She she gets shots in her eyes every five weeks um, because she's had a hemorrhage in one eye. And uh, the eye doctor is about, he's probably early 40s. He's really, really nice, and he really likes her. And so um, he, uh, he walked in there. Now, you've got, you've got to realize that um, my grandson's name is Reed. My maiden name was Reed, R-E-A-I-D, very unusual. And he said, hey, Miss Reed with one eye, meaning the way that her name was spelled. And she said, well, that's not very nice to come in here and be calling me one eye. <laughs> I was just like, oh, God, he's like, no, 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 no. I meant the way your name is spelled. <laughs> she's like, and so she likes him, and she's just like, the whole time he's working on her, and I was like, mother, be quiet and be still because he's putting shots in your eyes. <laughs> it's just, he's, oh my gosh, what a trip that woman is. She uh, wears me out mentally, I think, more than anything else. So, But anyway, I got home and I got a package in the mail. And it's from my sweet friend. And many of y'all have seen her. Um, she has a channel. And her name is Sandy Chapman. And she lives in Ontario. I'm not going to tell the city because she might not want that. But I was like, girl, you have sent me something from Canada. So, and you so didn't have to uh, do that. But I thought, well, I'm going to get on here because Miss Sandy, speaking of eyes, has had a very hard time. She has had a retina that has detached. If I'm not mistaken, I think it has detached twice. And so she just had surgery a few weeks ago. And I know that so many of y'all on the Go Forth page, Go Forth, excuse me, that's my Bible study group. <laughs> y'all are not on that. So so, uh, I know that many of you know Miss Sandy because on our page, Let Your Light Shine, she has posted about her surgeries. And so, just continue to keep her in your prayers. Um, she is a, um, a single lady and just faces a lot of issues, and uh, she and I have talked some. So, uh, uh, you know, I always want us to take very seriously the things that's put on our page, Let Your Light Shine, because when people ask for prayer, they're asking for prayer. They really are saying, you know, uh, yeah, I, I need a touch. I need help. I'm reaching out. So I'm so glad we got that page so everybody can get to know each other. It's over 100 and something members now, which I just think is great. But anyway, long story short, I wanted to get on here because Miss Sandy sent me a little package and I'm going to open it. I already cut the end of it. So let's see what we got in here. Oh, I see one pretty. Oh my gosh. She's made something. You people, I don't make all this stuff. Y'all are putting me to shame. But let me get out the first pretty. Love this. I have crosses hanging in my hallway, but I can just tell you right now, this will be on a Christmas tree. I don't know if that's what it's designed for. It may be where you can hang it. I have several crosses hanging that y'all will be seeing in my fall home tour, but is that not beautiful? Look how thick. It's like double layered gold metallic or gold sparkles. But, uh, yeah, Christmas tree, Sandy, you'll always be a part of one of my Christmas trees. Thank you so much. That's beautiful. Now, I don't even know what to think about this because I can just tell you every bit of it's homemade. Look at this. Hello, SL, Suzanne Light. This is made. Sandy, 
you with that little eye surgery and then you're out here making adorable things. I guess this is what they call one of those flip books. So it's got a piece of washi that you pull back. It's too cute. Birds. I don't want to mess anything up. Let me make sure I'm opening this right. Yeah, have to. Have to get in it that way. It's just too cute to open. Oh, okay, I see where it's got a little place that you can pull that back. Ah! Oh, look at this. It opens up and it has a note. And I have a feeling it just keeps opening. Let me see if I can read this. Dear Suzanne, this is just a little something to say thank you so much for keeping me in your prayers and having the ladies pray for me as well. I love my prayer cloth. We sent her one from the Bible study group. So much I read it daily and often lay it right over my eye. Girlfriend, and that's exactly what you do. We uh, prayed for a young lady the other night from our church that has been diagnosed with alopecia. And uh, I turned around to do something. And when I turned back around, she had that prayer cloth with that oil on it just rubbing all over her head. And I got so tickled. But you lay that over that eye because the prayer of faith has been prayed over that. I'm so glad I found you on YouTube. You are such a blessing and have been such a comfort to me already. Love you so much. Thank you so much. Lots of love. And this, this note that she... I don't know how she did this paper. I don't know if it's cut. It almost looks like, yeah, with some scissors, but it looks like it almost, I don't know. It's just beautiful. I'm not going to show you all the notes. So then it folds into this. Look at the stone. Yeah, I don't do flip books. These, this is adorable. Oh my gosh, how cute. It says, you're my inspiration. And then there's a pocket. And look at the fan. How adorable. And, the, and then the pocket. Oh, Sandy, you're so creative. Look at this. Look at this. Is that not adorable? And she's made this. Now, Suzanne, you could make some of this. But who's got time with grandbabies and 89-year-old mamas? Um, oh, my gosh. Look at this one. Hello. Sandy, you just, oh, look, all, little ephemera, ephemera, however you say that, always. Look how cute, a whole little bag full. This will be so cute in my bullet journal because it's little. Girl, <laughs> dropping it. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> yes, y'all probably saw roots when I did that. Look at this, how beautiful. So, like, you had to fold this and cut it and put, my gosh, how cute. This is going to be so cute in my journals. Look at that up close. She put a little button on it, then she covered it. Y'all, this is just really, Sandy, you need to make an Etsy page. You could sell these. I might be putting you up in, in a new business. Y'all, look how cute. For people like me that don't have time to make this. And then she put... <laughs> How cute. A little close man. And then the woman's getting next to my heart on this next thing. Or things. Oh, there's more. Sequins. And then the, the, the one... I might put this in the fridge. It's been out in the mailbox, so it's kind of mushy right now. But the Andes mints, oh my gosh, I love those. So I'll just put that in the refrigerator and freeze that back up. Oh, wait, there's more. How cute is all of this? <laughs> now, Sandy, did you send this broom for any particular reason? It has nothing to do that you think I might can get on this and fly, does it? <laughs> I got to read. I can't read it to you because it's on my phone. But my friend sent me this today that said something to the fact that, oh gosh, I need to be on my phone to read it. But some, uh, something about all women have wings, but if they get clipped, they just keep on flying or something. They just get on their broom and readjust or something. I don't know that one. But Sandy. <laughs> so 
so cute. That little broom. That's my little witch's broom. And look at these. How cute. I will be, you will be seeing these when I do flip throughs on my bullet journal. And where in the world do you get these adorable little bags? Am I just out of the crafting loop that I don't know that you can buy these tiny, cute little bags to put stuff in? Girl, how cute. All of these have got their own little tiny bag. Yeah, I'm not a big, I mean, I love to journal all. I just don't make all this stuff that y'all make. But my gosh, how cute. Look how it opened up. Look how the paper is so coordinated so beautifully. And then the notes attached. I will treasure that. That will go in one of my journals. I will, what I'll do is secure it in one of my journals so that I can always have it. But Sandy Chapman, oh, and this has got multiple stones. Look at the stonework. Isn't that not gorgeous? That paper is so pretty. Hmm. Paper is also interesting. It's a cardstock. Oh, and she's got a little dimensional bird right there. I am totally impressed. Another pretty green stone here. Yeah, I am just so impressed. Thank you so much, Sandy. You just made my day, and I just massacred that saying. I'll have to put that saying on our page. But, um, Sandy, was there any, uh, was there any particular reason you sent me a broom? <laughs> it's just too cute. <laughs> It is witch's time, but no, I'm just teasing. I'm teasing, but that is, that's so funny because somebody just sent me that today talking about women. I love all of this, and I love, I love the cross. Okay, I've done this new update. I don't know how to get rid of this stuff off my phone. Okay, I've done the new update on my phone, and I just keep getting messages on it, and they're staying there. They're not going away like they used to. But anyway, Sandy Chapman in Ontario, thank you so much for all the precious little goodies. I love them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm not even going to tell you that you're going to get a, um, uh, a folding book back because I would be lying because I don't make them, nor do I do pocket pages or page letters or pocket letters, little pockets. What are those things called? <laughs> I got a couple of them, but I don't make those either, so, um, pocket, yeah, whatever, but I love these little fold books, I've seen these before, and this is just precious, I mean, when somebody takes the time to make something like this, how cute, and time, and thought, and, and I think love is made into it, so, thank you so much, Sandy Chapman, girlfriend, y'all check out her channel, She's getting started. She's doing some Trim Healthy Mama videos. And um, she, could, she just needs some friends to come over there and, and follow her page and check out her videos. And I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I really do. You're a special lady. And I'm so glad that we were able to send a prayer cloth to you. And you just keep standing on that, that God is going to touch that eye and and, and bring it back so that you will have the best ability to see out of that. I love y'all. Thank you so much. I just wanted to get on here and share this with you. And Fall Home Tour will be coming up soon. I got part of it uh, videoed. And I'll be getting it up soon. And um, I'll be talking to y'all. Oh, okay. The consensus is, is don't cut the hair. Today, it's just pulled up in a clippy. And, you know, when I get my roots done, I'm going to like it being pulled up some. But everybody was like, no, Suzanne, don't cut your hair. So for right now, I'm not cutting the hair. So talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye.